damn, that flick was not dope. My name's James Richardson, and I didn't like this movie. Yep, straight out of Compton. The story of NWA, and who knew that last part stood for accountants? Now, if you've always thought, incredible story of this band, their rise from violence-stricken South Central, their battles with the racist police force, the whole birth of gangster rap, you always thought the most important part of that story was their financial battles with their labels. But <laughs> boy, is this the film for you, because Straight Outta Compton gives you what seems like hours of that. Bizarrely, way more on all that bickering than there is on the actual music and its inspiration. Now, it may be that if you like the film's producers, Dre and Ice Cube, and you're now worth billions, this is actually the part that's more interesting to you. You are now about to witness the strength of a really tight legal team. For the rest of us though, it's a little bit dull, which is a shame because the first hour of the film is actually really good fun. It's exciting, it's engaging, it gives us real context to the birth of the world's most dangerous group, apart from maybe the Pogues. It's got some genuinely heart-stopping moments like that seen on the school bus. It's got terrific reenactments of the original music as well and an absolutely brilliant concert in Detroit. Although quite why they got the hump so much with Sting, I'm not really sure. Sadly though, once fame comes and the group breaks down, so does the momentum. And the movie goes from being oh geez to oh geez as we get yet another bit of bickering between manager Jerry and E and the rest of the band. By the way, big shout out to the ever dependable Paul Giamatti who puts in probably his most whiny performance since Sideways. Now there are still some fun moments to be had after that first hour, thanks to the film's Disney-like parade of landmark gangster rap moments. On your right side now there's Snoop, on your left side now there's Dre accidentally composing the hook to Ain't Nothing But A G Thing Baby. But overall though, after starting out as very much boys in the hood, this film spends its last 90 minutes more like FIFA's United Passions. Or to be a bit more highbrow, a kind of rap phantom menace where mega rich producer revisits artistic legacy, makes dull film about trade wars. It doesn't exactly put the Dre in dreadful, but it certainly puts the ice in ice scene better. I give it, sadly, a five and a half out of ten.